Welcome to the segment, the fourth segment, the segment four for the chapter one class. Segment four, chapter one. Okay, like I said earlier, that uh, the chapter one is divided into seven segments. So this is the fourth segment of the class. And the topic we'll be treating for the fourth segment is the objective of taxation. I want us to get our writing materials and our pen that we can jot down the points that's actually being presented to us on our screen. Okay, so students, please, I want you to take note that the objective of taxation are actually many. There are a lot of taxation. Please don't restrict yourself to these five alone. There are so many other ones that you can actually what you can actually look into. So I'll give you recommendations. You can actually Google it online. You could go to uh, use ICANN Study Park. You could use CITN Study Park. You could use uh, you know the National Accountant Journals and so on. So there are vast information online. So don't restrict yourself to this five alone. But furthermore and research. All right. So objectives of taxation include the following as well new taxation is what is a process whereby group of people actually contribute towards the development of a nation how do they contribute they contribute by paying tax to the government so the government is actually going to develop the nation for them okay so the objective of paying tax which is taxation the objective of paying tax includes the following a for revenue generation this is the very very key objective you know the main aim of taxation is to work is to generate revenue to meet the needs of the government. So, very clear and simple. One of the objectives of taxation is what is for revenue generation to meet the needs of government. So, the needs of government are so many to provide infrastructure to do a lot of things. So, the for revenue generation to meet the needs of government. So, that's the first objective. The second objective is to provide fiscal to fiscal to for stimulating economic growth and development. So, taxation provides fiscal tool for stimulating economic growth and development of a nation. So, please take note of that. So, that's the second objective. The third objective is for social function, such as reducing uh, the rural urban population drifts. So, you can see that um, the rural urban, most people actually work, they actually come from the rural areas to the urban areas and the urban areas to the rural areas. You know, it's actually, it's actually using to redress all this work, all these shifts. You know, that could cause as a result of rural urban population drift and it's used to curb environmental pollution. How can taxation curb environmental pollution? Very important because the revenue generated from taxation is actually used to stimulate economic growth and development. So it's actually going to work, curb environmental pollution. You know. Option the fourth one is to redistribute income and wealth to reduce inequality. Yes, this is one of the objectives of taxation to redistribute income to make sure that wealth. Every sector of the economy actually what actually you know has equitable distribution of income. So there's an equitable distribution. Let me just use this word equitable equi this is not equitable sorry. Equitable equitable distribution of income. Equitable distribution of income. Please take note of that. Equitable distribution of income amongst the sector of the economy so each sector actually will actually receive the right uh, distribution of income so the fifth one is what taxes are also used to counter inflation yes during inflationary period taxation is one of the two that are used to reduce the volume of purchasing power it is used to counter inflation during inflationary period taxation is a tool to reduce inflation this thing with that so many objectives of taxation to provide um, needs of the citizens to provide economic services for and so on so don't let us restrict to these five alone but it's very very important we know these five before you actually furthermore so please try and know these five for revenue generation to provide fiscal tool for stimulating economic growth and development for social functions such as addressing the rural urban population drift and it is used in curbing environmental pollution it is used to what to redistribute income in order to reduce inequality, it is used to work to reduce inflation by reducing volume of purchasing power. So these are the five objectives of taxation. Please don't restrict yourself to these five. Furthermore, research, and I wish you best of luck. All right, so we've come to the end of our segment four for chapter one, which is the topic objective of taxation. Thank you very much for listening.